Hi there, I just thought I'd make a quick video about LightScribe uh, disc labelling technology. To label your compact discs or DVDs using LightScribe, you need special LightScribe discs, which we have examples of here. We've got CD minus R's and DVD plus R's discs. You also need a compatible LightScribe drive. Now LightScribe is a bit of an obsolete technology nowadays and I'll talk to you about some of the disadvantages of it later in the video. So you won't be finding any new LightScribe drives, I doubt. Um, and you probably won't get support in modern operating systems either. Um, anything beyond Windows 7 you're probably going to struggle with. So um, this is a external Samsung drive. Lightscribe drive, you can see it's got the Lightscribe logo there. And then this HP Tower PC has a couple of drives in which are also marked with the Lightscribe. I've never actually used these for labelling, I've only ever used my external drive. And um, the software I use to label my discs is on this old XP netbook. And it's the Nero Cover Design Essentials, which is one of these packages Nero you get with um, DVD burners, especially when there was no native burning support in Windows. And we can see here we've got a document type uh, called Lightscribe, and that will create you a blank template for designing your disk, onto which you can put text and images, whatever you like. You can just stick stuff on there. Uh, now when you want to print your label, and that might have changed because I've had to close and restart the software because the label printing options weren't there, I think because I connected the drive after I started the software up. And I've been fooled by this before. You can see on the menu there's options for print lightscribe label and lint lightscribe print preview. There's also the print light scribe label is also on the toolbar up there. And this gives you various options, how dark the image is, what drive you're using. So you can see we can have draft, normal or best. And this brings us to one of the big problems with light scribe is just the time it takes to um, print your disc because it uses the laser which would normally be used to read or write the data on the disk uh, to write a label onto the other side, other side of the disk. So basically you put the disk in upside down to print the label. And if you have it on best quality, if you have uh, like artwork all over your disk, it can take about half an hour to write your disk. If you just have some very simple text on a small amount of the disk, and you do draft, then it could only take a few minutes. And it prints the label in the same way as it would read the CD in concentric rings. So if you have your text going around an arc that follows the um, diameter of the disc, uh, only on a small area, it will only have to print that small area, so it won't take very long. If you have all over artwork, it will take a long time. So I've got some example discs here to show you. Firstly, I've got a couple of... I couldn't find anything greatly interesting because I didn't want to print any specially. Here's a couple of CDs, and you can see the writing's really clear. And I really like um, Lightscribe compared to something like paper labels, which could um, they sometimes wrinkle after they've been on the disc a while and unbalance the disc, or just having the paper label on there if it's not central. Or you could write on it with an overhead projector pen, or uh, whatever they're called nowadays, CD marker. Uh, but it never looks very professional, does it? So it looks quite professional having these light scribe labels. Um, here we have a DVD. Uh, this is a Baby Driver artwork. I'm not saying whether or not it's got Baby Driver on there, because obviously it hasn't, or it'd be illegal, wouldn't it? Um, so... This uh, works reasonably well, but the contrast is never very good on the DVDs because the um, colour of the disc is much less contrasty to the colour of the printing. 
Also, because my XP netbook is getting pretty old now, I have had trouble with the software crashing halfway through writing a disk. Now, in theory, they say that the um, sort of barcode things around the centre of the disk, inside of the printable area, are used by the LightScribe drive to line it up. So if you print a label twice, it should perfectly line up and you should therefore be able to burn a label several times to make it darker. Um, however, when I've had these failures of my um, LightScribe software, I've found this hasn't been the case uh, recently. It used to always line up when I did a second burn, but now it tends to just start randomly on the disk and as you can see you get things if you try and burn several times because it's crashed you end up with things not lining up at all uh, these are just old ones these are just ones that have gone wrong and then i've used for other things which is why they've got handwriting on them so i don't think there's much else to tell you about lightscribe i think it's a really good technology creates really nice looking discs especially for cds where the contrast is better Definitely better than paper labelling or handwriting, especially for those special discs, like if you filmed someone's uh, wedding or something like that, something you want to um, make, make a good presentation of. However, it's not current technology, and it, its demise largely, I think, is because of the time it took to um, write the label onto the disc. I believe, although it ever, no, only ever stayed as a monochrome uh, technology for uh, making your labels. Um, other manufacturers did make different colour discs so you could have a different colour background. So I hope you like that brief look at uh, Lightscribe labelling technology. Thanks for watching.